pretty sure everyone just heard that too. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna tell everyone we're live in here. Hey. hey! What? <laughs> so, ask us questions. So, here's the dealio, guys. Vlog content on this channel is not what it's supposed to be, and that's because we can't do anything. Everything's still closed. So, we're going to be doing lives a lot more until we can go out and actually go places and vlog. Because we can only do so many Target videos. And, like, I'm not even going to lie. I hate sit-down videos. So, instead of sit-down videos, we um, can just do Q&As. What if we go to park tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Ask us questions. <laughs> Jesus. Ask us some LGBT questions or something. Yeah, I can go live on TikTok, but we're going to do that tomorrow. Let's stick with, like, questions for this channel, and then I can do a mental health live tomorrow or tonight. Probably tonight. My favorite color? Someone made me this bracelet. Well, all of them, but, like, those colors. Like, burgundy and, like, Where'd you get the green. Rainbow? Oh, I went to Five Bill and got it because I missed my old one. Well, you just went shopping galore today, didn't you? Oh my god, I, I bought a bracelet and a sports <laughs> bra. Like, look at me. Um, my favorite colors are like a blue, uh, turquoise, and purple. And I have a bracelet too, but I have to take them off for work because I can't wear them so I haven't put them back on yet So I got home. Pride is rescheduled to October, but we are in June going to host our own Pride on Zoom and YouTube and TikTok, so. Favorite candy? I don't have one. I'd rather have chips. Reese's. Yeah, she eats Reese's like no tomorrow. No, your favorite candy is Rose Ropes. That's so weird. Okay, I saw that on TikTok. What the heck? Watch my lips. I oh, know, I saw it on TikTok. What's so weird about that? You look like you're half tarted. We don't say that word on here. Favorite ice cream? I'm big into strawberry. Cookies and cream? Or rainbow? Or cotton candy? Or something? Yeah, I know it got canceled in New York, but I'm hoping ours, since they moved it to October, won't. But um, if it does, we're still, regardless of our, if ours gets canceled or not, we are still going to have a online pride, just like we did for online prom. We met in a Zumba class. Hey, hey. What? Let me finish it. Nice. The Nikon D3100. It's not a bad camera. It's a starter camera. Learn the settings. Learn the ISO and the shutter speed and the f-stop. Like, once you learn what those do, you'll be great. Who is Bella? That's Grace's sister. Favorite thing to do together? Go to lots of fun. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a coming out story closer Something to Pride be because doing. we need a little more time on that. Quarantine's going pretty good. I'm actually using quarantine to like work on what I want as a career. Mm -hmm. So I've like haven't stopped I've just been full force like I feel like I hit the ground running I feel like our quarantine has been different than other people's quarantine 
mostly because number one, we both still basically work our job, maybe a little bit less hours, but not a whole ton. And then number two, the time that we're not at actual work, we're here doing this. Like the whole quarantine, we've been here doing lives, we've been doing videos, we've been filming TikToks and stuff. So we don't really have a whole ton of like boredom downtime. That's true. Yeah, we are. So. But again, like my free time is no longer. My free time, when I go to work, I'm, you know, I'm using my breaks to post. When I get off of work, I'm filming, then I'm editing, then I go to bed. And then on my off days, I'm either doing lives or filming or editing, but it'll pay off. So like, I'm not complaining. I've just, I really hit the ground running and didn't want to slow down. Quarantine has been basically it's I for us to grow that. Yeah. And I feel like I've like found Especially different now. ways um to do stuff that I didn't have time to do before. What time is it for us? It's like six sixteen. My okay, so my favorite types of videos to make on our channel. Yeah, I went live with Jazz finally. My favorite thing for us to vlog about is going to either Worlds of Fun or going into stores or doing something. Like we're really having to adjust on this channel to like to like finding doing a lot more lives and then finding stuff around the house. We just we miss going out and filming vlogs. So once that happens and the lift is up and we can start going out again. We'll hit the ground running with this channel. But for right now, it's going to be mostly lives. We um, have a date jar that I got you for. But we can't use but we it. we can't do any of the dates. We can't do so. anything. And we had like a hundred something vlog ideas I think had in there. And we were so excited to do them all. But I guess we can still do them all for the summer. Thanks. We hit two million likes yesterday, I think. Sorry, we're trying to read these as fast as I can. I'm ready for this whole thing to go. I actually went out today, took one of the dogs to Petco, and like Five Below was open, Tuesday morning was open, um, the eyebrow place was open, except I get them wax not threaded or I would have gone um there were a few places starting to open back up and like no one had any problems with it I don't know how I get my braids so perfect I just love to braid my hair it's not as good as the other day but it's close I asked did you buy any of your new merch um I <laughs> she bought a lot, a lot of it because <laughs> we don't get it for free mm -hmm. So I bought, a t the biggest thing for me was the 100K merch mm -hmm. because it's limited edition, which means it's only out until we hit 101K. But I bought a bunch of that because that's like the biggest milestone, I feel like, for me. So I bought a ton of that. And then the next thing I bought was I bought a fireworks hoodie and then I bought a fireworks shirt and I bought Team Maddie shirts and hoodies mm -hmm. just because I'm bought a, a lot. It I comes, bought six it comes hoodies. to our fan email. So Grace today this afternoon got to see what all you bought. Oh, <laughs> Which is at least a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. So. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, well we may need to have a talk when we go home about how much you <sighs> bought, but I guess that's your stimulus money. If that's how you want to spend it, go for it. But Okay, so I spent three hundred dollars on my merch. Mm -hmm. Words out, but <laughs> A I really wanted money. it. I really didn't know you got the emails. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything either. I was going to be like, look what came. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so sh she bought almost half her store, but that's okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm only going to hit this milestone once in my life. The next milestone we hit... Will be five hundred thousand, and then it'll be a million. All I'm so, saying is, with as much as you buy, I better see a new shirt on you every day. <laughs> I told them I'm gonna be like Jojo Siwa. What I'm gonna do is wear my merch. Yeah. And that, and I think you bought too small of a sweatshirt. Just so you know. I bought one medium and four larges. No, you bought all mediums. No, I didn't. Okay. Well, 
I was, we'll look at that later, but that's what I thought. Did I? Bought. No, I bought, I bought and one. I don't video. think all the sweatshirts we have in there are large. I don't think you have. Yeah, but it's day. unisex. Yes, they're all large. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, it's okay. One will be a little tight. We'll make it a crop top. Mm. You better hope you didn't order more than this. Grace one. is very negative. No, I'm not. Way. I'm just saying. Please don't dump that. I, I cut a paper on it. I want to see what came in today, though. I just said, don't open that. I cut up paper on it. Dump it in here. Dump it in here. Why? Dump it in. Because I have things that are done a certain way. And when you mess it up, it bothers me. Jesus. <laughs> Do what I said. This is OCD today. Yeah, the so here's my plans for next month's merch. Oh, We're gonna do a sticker collection. Okay, I love this, you guys, but this is what kids at work make me. I don't get anything but gay stuff. <laughs> they all just give me like rainbow stuff. Okay, but anyway, um, uh, we're going to do, like, a launch next month of the Warrior Collection. Uh, becoming the Camerons, I'm going to make um, cartoon figures out of us. It's just going to take a long time to do. So I'm going to start working on that. And then um, we're going to do a sticker collection. Have I read all these? No, I bought – okay, so I bought, a, I bought the 100K tapestry because we're going to hang it on the wall over there because I really wanted it. And then I bought – um a, a 100k hoodie a 100k large shirt a 100k large shirt and then i bought the leggings because i really wanted the leggings and then man you really can't see everything can't you mm -hmm. and then i brought the you are enough hoodie which i don't remember buying but i did in and the medium. yellow poster huh in medium huh in medium oh shit Shirts are all in large and your hoodies are in medium. I have peak in my turn though. Can you stop being so negative? No. You could just say, I hope you fit. Instead, you're very negative. So stop. She doesn't fit. We're doing a giveaway. Grace is literally <laughs> one of the most negative people I've met ever. Oh, I just... Yes, you are. Everything that comes out of your mouth half the time is negative. So stop. Ow. <laughs> I think a medium would fit. I'm pretty sure the gray hoodie we have is a medium. Okay, Eddie. What? I'm not going to cover it anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay, I didn't think, though. I'm so confused. I don't remember buying mediums, though. Oh, this is... Like... Do you not check tags from the closet before you order? No, I got clothes? really excited. I can tell. <laughs> okay, Grace, entertain them. I have to go look. <laughs> I'll be right back. Now you got me concerned. I know you thought. So it popped up at work today when I checked the email, and all the hoodies she brought were mediums. And all the hoodies we have ah! are largest. They're largest! <laughs> I told you, they're all largest. Shit! So I was like, why would you buy large shirts and medium hoodies? No! Move! No! Okay, I guess we're doing a giveaway because the medium's <laughs> not going to fit me. <gasps> There's probably about five that you ordered in medium. You know that, right? No, Miss Negative, there are two. Okay. But I wanted to wear the hoodies. I know. No, I wish, order more. <laughs> I, wish um, I wish you would have asked. That way I could. Who wants a medium 100K hoodie? Yeah, but I think these are women's. Honey, they're all unisex. Negative. I can tell you for sure they're unisexy. Damn. Well, those are a little big. They're just not going to be. All right, you're going to have belly shirt hoodies. <laughs> Should I order a large? Can can you just wait and we can go over this after live? <laughs> oh wait, it lets me edit them. It does? Oh shit, no. I was gonna say. The ones that haven't been printed do. Like the Well, you gotta see Maddie in a lot of belly shirt hoodies. Oh, Alright, anywho.
I'm just telling you to order more. You guys, uh, sh that's great, except for the <laughs> that we <laughs> that kind of have a limit of how much we were wanting to spend on our. You year. don't want three fifty. <laughs> You mean four fifty? <laughs> no, I spent forty seven, hundred and four. <laughs> okay, that's no. under fifty. Okay, next two. Thirty six. Okay, that's it. No, there was one more. No, it's literally okay. all it says. I added them all up. It was like three hundred something. No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. Again, Grace likes. You gotta learn with Grace. She does two things. She makes everything into a negative situation, and then when she says. 30, it's like usually like five, and when she says 100, it's usually like 40. So, like, okay, here you go. Maybe somebody accidentally, here, let's check my bank account. <laughs> maybe somebody accidentally ordered a large and needs a medium, so maybe you can ship it to them. Okay, here, to ship it to you. Hold on, so calculate this, okay? I don't want to do this. 104, right now. <laughs> I'm not 36, doing this right now. 47. <laughs> Twenty, forty-three, fourteen. Exactly. How much are we going on now? Three hundred something bucks. I really wanted it. I'm holding it at hundred twenty-one. So 21. if you buy two more hoodies that are forty-seven each, you are at four hundred something bucks. It's worth my it. savings account. <laughs> oh, go for it, but I'm not become I, a shipper. But I'm gonna have a cute hoodie. You could buy a whole freaking bunk bed set for the spare room with that four hundred bucks. <gasps> Let's do that. Oh, we already bought $400 worth of clothes, so. Okay. Somebody said, wait, I can get a large and trade you for the medium. We'll figure it all out when she gets it, but I can guarantee she's going to have some belly shirt hoodies. But I need to okay. find a medium hoodie now and try it on. Go to Walmart. No, because a, a medium hoodie may, like, halfway fit you now, but you wash it, and they're cotton. They're 100% cotton. They shrink. How big is this on me? Okay. Anywho, let's go back, because you're just going to have to figure that out when they get here, because you ordered everything. <laughs> okay, but look. Look at them rolls. This is kind of big. It's just gonna be like <laughs> like that. And really skin tight. I don't think so. Okay, honey. <laughs> if I don't get my 100k hoodie that fits me, I'm gonna cry. Okay, if you guys normally wear a medium, don't be terrified. Maddie doesn't normally wear a medium shirt. I don't, think <laughs> so I don't know why I thought to get a medium. She ordered all her shirts in large, but then she ordered all her hoodies in medium. She, you ordered the most expensive. What did you? What size did you order for leggings? Hopefully, large. Smalls. I'm kidding. Larges. Like, I love you, honey, but but you're a large. You wear the same size clothes as me. Okay. <laughs> Scooby, stop. Bella, stop spamming us. Yes. I'm in a depressed state. <laughs> yeah, you'll figure something out. She'll figure it out when she comes. She ordered it. She'll figure it out when she comes. Okay. What I'm fucked up. <laughs> um... Okay, so ask us questions again. We are now off to. You guys should be fine. She's a big girl. She's an adult. She orders her own clothes. If they don't fit her, that's that's her fault. Oh, my sad little puppy. <laughs> How old are we? I'm 28. She's 26. Apparently with the mind capacity of a five-year-old when what's it's ordering clothes. What's a common misconception people see it, say about both of us? I'm not gay. That's true. 
you're too pretty to be gay. You get that. All the time. You, you get that. Or they go, well, you just haven't found the right guy. No. I yes. Don't. I hate that one. I got that one towards the beginning of it me dating you everybody was like well maybe you just didn't meet the right guy no 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 karen i did i met the right person uh when are you getting married hopefully next summer is our plan we don't have a date set yet uh we were gonna go look at this venue but coronavirus started and that put our plans on hold so uh, are you girlfriends? We're fiancés. Wait, what? Somebody said, are you girlfriends? You're my sister. Oh, whatever. That's disgusting. Oh. If I was your sister, that would be nasty. I love you, but not like a sister. Um. How's the tornado situation in your state right now? Well, knock on wood, but we haven't had a tornado in, like, a year. So, it's great. What majors did you take in college to get the careers you in? Well, I did nursing. I'm a nurse. And she did communications and broadcasting, but she's going back to get, my master's. get her master's. To be a therapist, counselor, whatever you call it. What makeup do you use? Um, YSL. I use whatever Maddie uses because I don't buy my own anymore. So, um, but for like foundation, what's mine called? Born this way or yeah. something? Yeah, it's from Sephora. Uh, what made you guys start doing TikTok and YouTube? Well, Maddie had a channel, and she wanted to use her broadcasting degree somehow, and I guess she just started watching a lot more YouTube, and she was like, I'm going to build a studio in the garage, I'm going to do makeup, videos, and... That's not just, the story Yes, it me. is. So, one day, you literally went out and bought, like, a whole setup yeah. for the garage, and started, like putting it all together and she got all this stuff and started filming her own make videos. She actually I did pretty she, well yeah, though. She did really well when she first started she actually got reposted on Huda's yeah. Instagram. And she's that gained her a, like a lot of recognition. Like Thirteen thousand followers in a she night. She got picked up by a makeup company that does lipsticks and they now do other stuff and they are originated in LA mm -hmm. called Beauty Vault. When they first had, like, maybe a teeny tiny bit of following. Yeah. But there There were a lot of companies. Well. I mean, yeah. I had a whole thing, a dresser uh, in here before yeah. we did the wall. We got of old makeup lot. stuff that I had gotten in PR packages. Uh -huh. But then I was just like, the makeup world is too catty. Like, I don't want to be part of it. And then mm -hmm. I literally took a year off and then found TikTok. Mm -hmm. Well, she started posting videos with me in it. Like, we just randomly did, like, one day, I think, like, you tested products or something on me. And then you... Grace, and we were drunk and filmed it, and it was hilarious. And our yes. views went skyrocketing. Yeah. And I was like, congrats, we're now yeah. gay YouTubers. Yeah, and so then she's like, you need to be on my YouTube more because people really like when you're on it. So then we started filming all these videos together, and it started being something that we really liked doing together and spending time together and our viewers really liked it and this was kind of like right before pride last year it was last year gosh we've grown so much in just a year holy crud um and we start we started the youtube with both of us we had like becoming cameron's instagram was our main focus because we hadn't really heard about tiktok yet and yeah so that's kind of how everything started. And then we just all summer and all winter and everything made videos quite often, at least every week or every other week and put them out and just did different things. And it actually made us a lot closer because we did a lot more things. Like we would literally have to make each other like 
have like a spontaneous date night every weekend to film a video. So we'd mm-hmm. have to get out and do something together every weekend. Not that we didn't already, but you, like we would have a planned event every weekend to film. So, and we would try to hold different, well, a lot of, I can't talk right now. Tried a whole lot of different new places that we wouldn't have tried. Um, what was your favorite vlog we did last summer? What would you say? Last summer, Pride, like, and then the proposal video, and then World's a Fun Hunt. I mean, like, besides, I like, our proposal and stuff, but, like, what was our favorite activity that we vlogged? I live summer? for Worlds of the Worlds of Fun um, vlogs. I just yep. do. I love That's Worlds fun. of Fun. That's fun. Like I, hunts, I put her in time the out, hot right? and stuff. Um, let's see, I really liked. I thought like the geocaching one was really fun when I taught you how to do that. Yeah, we did have fun uh, with that, but we just like we literally came up with so many different ideas that we wouldn't have normally come up with. Yeah. So, how does it feel to finally hit a massive milestone? Tristan wants to know. Tristan wants to know how it feels to hit a massive milestone. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, today was the first day it like sank in because today while Grace was at work, I like opened my Instagram and it was nothing but like sponsorships of like people wanting to do stuff with us or collab. And like, that's why I made that video on TikTok today because like today is the first day that it's ever felt real, but it's awesome. Like mm-hmm. if I finally feel like I have a voice And it's being heard. And so it's just, it's really cool. I think, I mean, when I hit 100,000 this weekend, like, it's not going to feel real at all. Mm -hmm. But it's what I've always wanted. So, like, 100,000 now, but next stop's a million. Yeah. So. But I think it's just crazy, like, in this short amount of time, how much you've grown. But also tell them how hard I work. But she, like... Like, it's not like I'm just no. getting lucky. Like, no. that's all I do. Like, I film. come home, she's doing this from work. You know, like, the other day, what was it, Monday night? Yeah. I came home from work. She had moved. been in the studio all day, and then she did not move. Until midnight. In, until midnight. Like, literally, I was like, I'm going to bed because you've been in the studio all night. And sometimes it'll frustrate me because I feel like I don't get to spend as much time with you because you're in here. But at the same time. It's for our future. I understand, but no, like I literally live for this. It's not like I'm like some kid who's just doing like one or two dance videos and like just getting lucky. It's really like I'm dedicating everything I have to you guys. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like my hard work's paying off. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of Maddie's like traffic and stuff, and my traffic from my TikTok have like moved over to our YouTube as well too. Well, and I'll be great. real. Mental Health Miss Maddie is gonna surpass becoming the Camerons on YouTube in a couple days. But that's only because we there's just it's so hard to create content right now when you can't do it in a studio. But once the lift is up, we are gonna be vlogging on this channel like twice mm-hmm. a week. Back to the funny vlogs. Back to us going being stupid in public. Yeah. But until then... No fart bombs. So. <laughs> yeah, no more fart bombs. I got a big trouble for that. That was disgusting. Um, but until then, it's just going to have to like be on the back burner just a smidgen. Mm-hmm. And then once this lift is up, we're hitting full force going vlogging again. Yeah. And then... Um, yeah, I used to dance. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I was going to say something. You cut me off. I don't know Sorry. What I was for some reason, they want to know if I danced. We both used to do dance, but I was not good at dance. I just did it for fun. Oh, yeah. I love you guys. If you guys like like all my stupid TikToks, watch our YouTube videos. Like seriously. The ones all from last summer and stuff. 
Maddie makes so many jokes against me and I make so many jokes against her. The entire time, what was it like, the World's a Fun one? Like the steam comes up and you're like, oh, it looks like Grace went to Taco Bell. You yeah, know? Like, like they're literally all our vlogs are just stupidly making fun of each other. And that's why time. we need to, like, we need the world to open up again mm -hmm. so that we can go make those. But for right now, we can't. Yeah. We can't, we could go to the park for a little bit, but like, we just don't have the resources right now to create funny vlogs for you guys because let's be honest, Grace and I sitting here talking isn't that funny. So that's why we've resorted to a lot of lives this month instead mm -hmm. of our normal videos. Yeah, but, but trust us, subscribe, it'll grow with us, and we'll get back to normal soon. Mm -hmm. Well, I competed next in, week it's starting to open yeah. up a lot more. So. I competed in lyrical and contemporary, but now I kind of like hip hop more. But yeah. My goal this summer is to do a vlog at Worlds of Fun, not just one, but to do multiple a series. A series at Worlds of Fun. But I also want to do a vlog where like you guys, if you live close, can come We're and gonna be in yeah. the vlog. We're gonna do a meetup. A meetup <gasps> and you guys can like kind of get to see like a little bit of like what we do yeah and like you can be on the vlog if you want you have to consent to being on the yeah, vlog. yeah you'll have to sign something yeah but <laughs> um because we've had problems with that in the past but yeah before we uh i would like this channel to hit ten thousand before october and i really mm -hmm. think we could do it uh we the just plans to go to vidcon yeah so we were invited to meet you guys there um pride in Kansas City, if it's still happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you guys are at Pride in Kansas City, we go every year. We'd love to meet up with you guys there, too. Um, but, yeah. So, I thought about starting a snap, but to be honest. It's so, I, I'll be honest, she couldn't handle it. It is so overwhelming. I love you guys. And I feel but like... like you know, but, like, look at this. So, this, I, I replied to everyone today. And then it, um, like, people keep finding the things, so they keep adding me. On average, I'm getting, whoops, I'm getting about 7,000 snaps an hour. Yeah. An hour. So and I'm sure you would get a lot more than me. But at the same time, like, I feel like I don't want to make a snap if I reply to you guys for just, like, like, I feel like I would stick with it for, like, a week. That's what I'm, ha I'm having sudden, to do it. And then all of a sudden, I'd be like, I do it's too much. Like, I'm, I'm so. doing it every other day for an hour because it is mm -hmm. so much. And because, please don't do streaks. Like, I get streaks, but I don't want to be part of that because then I, t I, I just want it to be, like, genuine snaps. I don't want streaks. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, yeah, I go through them in the order I get them. If you did a meet and greet on the East Coast, where would it be? Michigan. Probably Michigan. I don't, I don't know. Oh, no, Massachusetts. No. That's where everyone is. Yeah. Probably Massachusetts, I think. Massachusetts is number four in the States for yeah. us. So currently how we're going to plan our first meet and greets are per statistics. And we hope to be able to travel all over the world and meet every single one of yeah. you guys, including the UK and all those stuff over there. But we're going to start with the U S because that's where we're based at. We're going to start with the areas that are most populated with Maddie's viewers. And so uh, for some reason, a lot of people in Massachusetts love Maddie. <laughs> So specifically more in Boston. So we're trying to figure out like 33% of her viewers currently out of the 80,000 that she has are in Massachusetts in Boston, which is actually a huge percent. If you think of the entire world, they're saying 33% are concentrated into that little, not, not little city, but little enough that, you know, so, um, yeah, so we plan on traveling all over. It's not going to happen overnight just because we still are working currently and, you know, saving up and stuff like that. But we do want to travel all over. Um, we're going to start in little spurts. We're going to start here in our hometown with people that are close to us or people that want to drive close to us. I guess if you want to drive here and you're old enough and 
you know, you can get permission from your parents, go for it. But um, we're going to do meetups, kind of worlds of fun and things around here, pride, stuff like that. And then we're going to branch off and go to like Massachusetts. We have one in LA in October for VidCon, um, which is a big one. So, and I don't know, we're going to kind of build from there. We want to do one in Florida. Um, so yeah, anywhere we're traveling, we'll let you guys know if we're traveling there yeah. and hopefully give you enough time that if you want to so come. We don't make a ton off of the merch at all, but everything we do make, we're going to put towards meeting you guys. Yes. We've already decided that, that mm -hmm. everything we make per merch for anything or any kind of like or sponsorships or any kind of thing like that, we're going to put towards meeting you guys. Like everything we get for helping you, we're going to put towards you guys. So, yeah. So we just, we're going to try and our goal towards this, like when everything opens back up is to try and meet as many of you guys as we can. And cause I feel like <gasps> seeing Maddie on the computer is, is nice, but seeing you in person is just so much. Fun. I'm a lot bigger than you guys think, and she's super. I know you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. No, someone she's today. Taller. I'm a lot taller. You're, she's really tall. I'm she's five, like five seven. No, I'm five eight. Okay. And well, but I'm on camera, six. everyone, everyone's comments are always like, "Are you five four? Are you five three? No, I'm she's like, tall. "No, I'm one of the taller people." Yeah, and she's she's really outgoing. So like. If you meet her and in person, all she's going to do is sponsor me. Yeah. yeah. Or I'm so, switching brands. Yeah. So she just, she always is. Literally, talking. look at this. Maddie, what? Do you have an issue? No, but Bang is not going to sponsor you. No, because I don't have a slick stomach and boobs and a butt. You do, but they they don't. They care okay, about but look. Big. Look. I love you guys. You literally keep me running on a daily basis. Sponsor me. Or I'm switching to rain because they're healthier. Yeah. I mean, I'm super, super excited to meet all you guys too. But I feel like as much as I am super excited, a lot of these fans, I know I'm more towards Maddie, but I'm excited to meet all you guys and see... You guys. Wait, close your eyes. With her. Close your eyes. Why? Close your eyes. Why would you? Because we're doing say? a thing. Close your eyes. Who's the more level-headed one? What are we doing? I said, who's the most level-headed? Uh uh. Uh huh. You said you weren't looking. No, no. Grace is like, oh my god, my video hit two hundred in like five seconds. Look, 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 look. And I'm I'm like, like, I was like, I hit fifty thousand. No, she's so excited about everything too whatever don't act like that <laughs> you guys she gets super excited she no, I do. Me like the merch just dropped grace so and so just can i play my voicemails right now grace so and so just called me oh, and then you're gonna get our shirts. and then you're gonna hit this and then you're gonna hit one like god damn it grace answer your fucking phone <laughs> <sighs> who's the funniest me me me. Who's the fun one you want to party with? Me. Party with you? Yes. No, it's party with I me. I never said. Somebody said leave Grace alone. I agree. I am funny as hat, guys. I post the comedy videos. She posts the mental health videos. Okay. Yes. Hopefully Pride doesn't get canceled. But if not, there will be lots of other events around the Kansas City area. Including Worlds of Fun. So, if you, and it's probably almost every other weekend that we will be up there. So, if you want to meet us and you're willing to come up to Worlds of Fun on a weekend, go for it. Because you probably have a good chance that we will be up there. So, <laughs> everybody loves my TikTok with the stripper song. Yes. I'm trying to think of more ideas tonight. I've kind of hit an idea rut all of a sudden. So I'm tr hoping that tonight I will kind of like view TikTok and get some more ideas. She's off tomorrow, so we're collabing. Yeah, we're collabing together. So 
Guys, I want to dye the tips of my hair <laughs> blonde. Crazy in Walmart is the whole mood. I love it. You guys, I just like being stupid silly, you like know? Just dip it. Just like dip it. Go for it. Really? You can do whatever you want. Make it bleach blonde. Make it very... Your hair is going to be raw. It's going to fall off. Um, like I said, negative. <laughs> See, this is why I want a trampoline. Guys, I'm trying to get Grace to let me get a trampoline okay. and a pool. Here was here was my. She's mocking me. Her, okay, so who cuts the grass? Who cut the grass all last summer? Besides okay, wait, two okay. times. Here, give it to him. Give him the spiel, and then I'm gonna fire okay. back. So okay, Go. so Grace cuts the lawn every weekend. It's up two times last summer, this summer, last weekend. I asked her to mow for a straight weekend and a half. And she told me that the neighbor was going to mow the lawn. Told me that the neighbor came over with a lawn mower. Couldn't mow it because it broke down. Made up this whole laughter story. And I was like. Ah! So she said the mower got stuck in the lawn. This dumbass right here. I'm sorry. There was no marks. From where the mower got stuck and they had to pull it out of the lawn. So, of course, I go, I come right in the house and I go, so you're going to tell me the truth? And she goes, what are you talking okay. about? The kids' lawnmower okay. was broken, but okay. they never made yes. it to our okay. yard. So, so, last week, two weeks ago, I said, if you mow the lawn, because she really wants a pool. She, like, has literally been oh, hoarding me about a pool. pool because I'm from Florida. Yes. And so, I said, okay, here's your condition. You help me with mowing the lawn for six weeks straight. And then oh, for you, the summer? you help me. You start showing effort to mow the lawn, to take care of the outside, whatever. And I will think about the pool. Like, because I want to make sure that I'm not going to be the one taking care of the lawn and the pool. So I told her. Okay, but here's the other thing. Okay. That and she Hold wants on. to put a trampoline in a yard with Hold an on. incline like this. Wee! <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Grace Mose. I film. I edit. I shoot. I promote. I take photos. I put up our YouTube videos. I I promote them. I do everything. So she does, but I don't know how to do that. So I'm the housewife. I don't know. I don't know how to mow. I mow. I clean. I, I, I do laundry. I do dishes. I, I pick up all your dirty dishes that you never do. Admit to that. She'll do housework. <laughs> she, I do all her dishes. Otherwise, they sit. In the she sink. does. I'll give her that because yes. I cook. But I cook. Feed the dogs, stuff like that. I feed the dogs sometimes, but majority of the time, I feed the dogs. Anywho, so I want it's not huge. But it's enough. That it's it takes good you, sized. It takes you probably thirty minutes to mow. You know, so. Anywho, so I told her that she can have the pool slash trampoline, whatever she picks, as long as she helps me with the yard. And we have yet to help with the yard. So, and I understand you do I'm YouTube, sorry, TikTok, you whatever, all day. But you went and sat in a hammock in the park today when you could have mowed the lawn. But so. here's Grace's thing, right? She goes, oh, you could have done this, but you chose to do this. And I'm like... Oh, you're right. I chose to edit our YouTube video instead of clean the house. No, okay. No, I said like. Okay. You chose to okay, go Susan. Sit, you chose to go sit in a hammock in the park today. You know why? Versus. Mom. You know why? Because this morning I edited our YouTube video, and then I worked on our becoming the Cameron's graphics for the merch launch next month for our becoming the Cameron. Okay. And then I wanted a thirty minute break, which is fine, but that means we don't get a pool. I'm getting a pool. Like, this isn't, this isn't, like, anything she says. Grace works. I'm just going to get the fucking pool and put it on myself. Whatever. Who's going to put the pool I'm on? I'm sorry. When are you, when, it, when did you, like, when did this anarchy become, like, you're the, the king and the mom? Like, no, bitch, we equals. Somebody said get a trampoline and a pool. CP is a trampoline. Yeah, no, okay. So, look, board. so, look, hold up. Our hill goes like this. Boom. <gasps> So I'm thinking we get one of those blow up slides and into the she pool. She wanted a slip and slide down yes. with those guys. You guys, okay, like my whole she side would have like run for. I don't know. I saw that in TikTok. <laughs> Here, here's the Maddie randomness again. 
Hey. But yeah, so so I didn't think my like stretch was too far out. I mean, I think if she helped for a week or two with the yard and stuff. Because you, you act like I'm a child. If I want a damn pool, I'm going to get a damn pool. You well, can't then we say need, nothing about we, it. And you need to have us start paying okay. somebody to mow the lawn. And then you need to take lessons on how to edit your YouTube stuff so that I don't have to waste my time and I can spend said time doing that oh, on gosh. the lawn. What is, what is so, that? Okay. Welcome okay, to wait. the newest YouTube creator, you guys. <laughs> Look. She's got to learn to edit. And if you learn how to edit in six weeks, okay. this camera can be yours. <laughs> oh, my God. How does it feel? Okay, so what, is, what does everybody think? Who's, 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 whose side is everybody on? Who is on? Now to get the it's pool, not do nothing. A... Let the yard grow really big and the pool turn And green. who's on? Grace Mitchell and... off of all my followers every time she's on a live <laughs> going... I don't have any followers. Can you follow me? I don't. Go follow yeah, me. she mooches. Graceland ninety one. Go follow me. <laughs> She's a fucking mooch. Okay. She so sits in my life like a party party. Like, I got no followers. Would you follow me? Now I got all these fan pages, but I don't got none. I could be like that. ESPCA commercial oh. kid. <laughs> Okay, Maddie, 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 boom, boom. Okay, it's my butt. Okay, then who's gonna come clean up the pool and honey, mow the grass? Honey, honey, like... I lived in Florida. I know how to do chemicals. <laughs> See, somebody agrees. Oh my god, I went to high school with that kid. Holy shit, Jacob Kerner, are you actually on here? Like, is that the same kid I went to high school with? There's no way. How would he find my YouTube channel? That's about to be real weird. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to comment. There's no way. Oh, it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's not tell anyone in the villages that I have this because... Shit, I just told everyone where I was going to. Yeah, good job. <laughs> oh, well, I appreciate you following me. You're the You and one other person are the only people in that area that know I do this. So I appreciate it. Small world. Shit. I almost pissed my pants when she said that. I don't know what I said that was so funny. <laughs> Are you smelling barbecue? Are you taking a shower since the barbecue? <laughs> Shut up. Have you washed your body? You smell like smoke. Like, like a smoker. Meat smoker. Well, thank you, Jacob. His name is Chicken for Strips. That's a bomb. I like the thing. one that says the shards McGee. That's Grace. <laughs> Y'all got the shards. What? Anyway, no, thank you, Jacob, for following me. You're the only Dude, second just, person I know from that area that I does. So I appreciate it. I don't have the shards. You're alive. Guess what? It looks like Maddie's getting a pool. <laughs> Oh, you guys. Oh, no, you guys. I'm more worried I'm going to set it up wrong, fill it up, and have the water come out. I'm more worried I'm going to walk out and the dogs are going to be drowning. <laughs> well, are they going to learn how to climb a stool? They will be able to jump, I'm sure. I know, Emily. I don't know why I take that bet. She's. I can guarantee you guys. I, like, a couple weeks from now. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. What's, what's that I hear? I Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're so witty tonight. Oh my god! The shorts again. <laughs> she said don't say anyone okay i know who shards mcgee is they just texted me yeah best email ever hello shards mcgee we miss you mm -hmm. please be a part of our lives again the shards mcgee how'd you come up with that name <laughs> <laughs> there's one that was like i sneezed and shart myself remember that one or no i shit my pants Something. It was hilarious. I don't know what happened to that guy. Let's go. Thank you for the kisses. Go. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Can you be nice? Get out of my life. 
Get I will life. get him out. Get my life. Get my life. Come over here. No, because he farts a lot. He doesn't fart. Piper's fart. Gonna fart. Um, we'll still do them on TikTok. I only had a 24 hour band. Can we take the dogs on a walk tonight? No. I don't want to exercise. Well, you need to exercise. Uh, will I ever change my job? Yes. <laughs> once uh, once I get my master's, I'll go PR in there and go to... I would either want to go to like JDC, which is a jail, or a lower risk facility because they get to do outpatient and our current place doesn't do outpatient treatments. Scooby's barking out there. Kobe wants, or Kobe wants to know where Scooby is. He's out in the kitchen. Please don't call him. I got banned on TikTok because someone reported me for inappropriate behavior on a live talking about my merch. Inappropriate. You can't talk about yourself in shirts, Maddie. I know. God. You can't talk about Let wearing clothes. Take it off. <laughs> What's your end goal with social media and work? Um, my end goal would be to do this full time and then... So I can technically have my own practice two years after I get my master's. So it would be to able to like work at a like a treatment center like I'm at, but outpatient. So that when the kids leave the I almost said it, the hospital and go home, they keep the same therapist. And that's what I would want. I wouldn't want to just be a hospital therapist that sees the kids and then it's gone. Like I want to be there the whole way. But social media will forever be a part of it. So I really want social media to like blow up. We want to move to LA and have a beach house and have everybody over for dinner. I already checked. Oh if I get my uh, license in Missouri, it's good in California after five years of renewal. So let's go. <clears throat> if we get a beach house, you all are invited over for dinner. I'm just saying that. Uh, so get us there. <laughs> Um, so the other day was the first time a client recognized me and it was really weird. They came, so there is a place out in o Olathe that, um, apparently watches my YouTube and TikToks for groups sometimes. And so the kid came from our facility and I had to pull him aside and please don't tell anyone, but that didn't happen because by the end of the day, everyone then knew I had TikTok and a YouTube. So you have a neighbor that keeps knocking on yeah, the door. Yeah, we think some kids in our neighborhood recognize me. She's out there doing TikTok dances with her friend, and then all of a sudden they knocked on our door. Twice. And then they Twice. knocked on it again today. Like, and they're like, run us, away and, and like, giggle. stop. <laughs> they're like older teenagers. They like run away and giggle. Go to Santa Monica Beach. Yes, that's our spot. The pier at Santa Monica is our spot. We That's why we hope to live in LA one day. Yeah, the peers were. I was gonna propose, but we didn't get back in time, and I wanted to get it done. Not and I figured it out that she was gonna do that, so we changed the plans. Yep. Oh yeah, that's why it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, well, let's tell them that story. <laughs> so Maddie had everything planned out for a dream proposal on the beach. At the beach, Grace originally said, "Please propose to me here." Three years ago. So I had it all planned, hired a photographer, hired a videographer, had everything set up, and I go home to Florida for the week, and this idiot gets on my Apple Watch, reads my messages, <laughs> knows my proposal plan, and there's $400 on the drink, because I was like, well, we're not doing that now, because now you're going to know. So yeah, I forgot. That's why it didn't but, happen. But when I went to go propose to you, you searched my phone and my watch like a freaking hot. So. I was already engaged at that point. Yeah, but it wasn't mutual. I hadn't asked you yet. Chicken strips. Little <sighs> puppy, sleepy puppy. I like how we talk for like five minutes and it gets awkwardly silent. We'll we catch up with what's in the comments.
Hey! Hey! What? What? So please go make a fan page for me. Oh, thank you. Dr. Chicken Nugget. I love it. You know, Maddie is known for chicken nuggets. Yeah, in college, I would get drunk at bars and stick McNuggets in my bra and go in the club and eat them while she dancing. She literally has a picture. You want to see it? It's iconic. Of her in front of a camera at the bar, like in like one of the photo booth things. Guarantee oh, when holding, I get famous, this is going to resurface and this is going to be an issue. Holding a chicken nugget. Yeah. She brought chicken nuggets. Stuffed them in my bra. An adult bar. <laughs> Went to a nightclub, got drunk and ate them. Yeah, that's going to resurface. Mm -hmm. But until then, let's look. We gotta go back college years. <laughs> I forgot about this time. That was my, my rough days. Oh, here's me at a frat party in college, drunk, holding chicken nuggets. I can't see that. You can't see it, but I posted it when I was single on Valentine's Day. Oh, it's not going to show, but it's iconic. Okay, but let's find the one Grace is talking about. Here, you talk. I look. Oh, here's one of them. Ugh. Hold on, let me try to change the brightness. This is me and my best friend, intoxicated at a bar. That's and I'm holding I saw. some chicken nuggies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a better one. A better one? Yeah. You talk. I look. Okay. Um. Yeah, she's chicken nugget obsessed. Like, literally... Like, I think if she, she would be what she ate before she met me, she would have turned, chicken in, nugget. She would be turned into a chicken nugget. Chicken nugget and pizza. And tacos. Hey. I gotta look for the picture. <laughs> nice scrolling. Ow. That is no, my... I'm playing with it. It's like a fidget spinner. Um, except it goes to my camera. Have you heard the chicken nugget song? I don't think so. Have you heard the mm -hmm. chicken nugget song? Mm -hmm. No. Nope. <sighs> Grace, I did a thing where I asked my SC friends what I'm good at and near my heart is well. That's fantastic. Oh, here. Yes, we got the Walk leaders. up into the club like, what up? I got my McDonald's. There you go, folks. They made a meme out of it. Good old just turned 21, and that's the first thing I did. Black belly. Belly shirt. <laughs> yeah. We're getting back to that goal. You still look like that. You just have darker hair. Your hair is I just should, as long. I should dye it blonde. Darker. I miss it being blonde. You still look like that. Oh my god, your that's when I learned cornrows. how to cornrows. <laughs> I remember when you put your hair in cornrows and I was like, no, don't no, do that. No, I like it. Oh goodness. Me and my girlfriend are bickering about whose thighs are thicker. Uh, that sounds like our kind of You want to see a terrifying picture? That's when Snapchat had filters that would switch your faces. <laughs> That's me and a doll. <clears throat> me back when I would like let my hair be curly. No, we didn't get any briefs yet, surprisingly. Thought we were going to get a whole shipment of like 80 briefs. 
and then I can make a TikTok. Maddie, your briefs have arrived. Apparently, we've got taco socks. Who sent us taco socks? She went to the mailbox oh, today I without me. I was going to call Maddie later. You weren't supposed to put those out yet. That's why mm -hmm. they were over there. But I hadn't had time to call her yet and thank her. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. Grace kind of just does her own thing. She well, I even like. I didn't know who they were from. You went to the mailbox and didn't tell me. You went. The other day when I went, I opened everything in front of you. Yeah, but it was to me, not us. It was to becoming the cameras. That's mm -hmm. us. That is. That was to me. Okay. The Maddie vlog. Okay. Well. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. It's okay. I still love you. Here's me obsessed with Bath and Body Works. We're just reminiscing over here. Okay. Enough pictures. Look, one time we spelled YOLO out on a ride. Look, that was eighth grade graduation night. We got to go to a amusement park and we spelled YOLO out. Whoa. I'm gonna send you guys stuff. Thanks, Kaylee. Does that say amber balls? What? I think it says ballast. <laughs> I saw amber balls. Sorry, Amber. Yes, yeah, Sophie, we got the gummy bears. They were delicious. But I will say they melted a little bit on the mail because she's it was very warm. negative. They were great. We put them in the fridge they and they turned out they amazing. Were fine. Yeah, they were great. What up? You're on a live, so be careful what you say. What do you mean I'm on live? Well, I'm on live on YouTube, so I just answered you though because I didn't want to miss your call. What's up? I don't know if this is a conversation you want online, but maybe. Um, through your website, you said that you were going to be doing a conversation you want online, but maybe. Um, through your website, you said that you were going to be doing a conversation you want online, but maybe. Through your website, you said that you were going to be doing a conversation you want online, but maybe. Oh. And I didn't know if you could send me any information on that. Yeah, I'll send you the website. And then. Uh, because they want. I. A lot of people are asking for joggers, sweatpants, and like workout stuff. And, right, and he uses a website because he owns his own gym and stuff like that. And so he, um, he wanted to know if you could send me any information on that. Because I didn't know if you could send me any information on that. Yeah, I'll send you the website link. Hi. We miss you. <laughs> I literally am like passing where I would turn right to go to your room. Hey. Hey. What? <laughs> well, I'm off tomorrow. I work tomorrow. I know. I know it sucks. I'm off, I'm off on Wednesday, but my sister will be here. Oh, next week? Sweet. I might take you up on that. Um, we're just interacting with people. Just bored. I showed pictures of me at a bar with chicken nuggets. Okay, I'll text you that link though. Okay. All right, bye. Yeah, same. Felt it, but I'll give you some stuff. I ordered. I gave. Actually, I'll send you the code because I gave. I'll. I'll just. I'll text you it. Okay. All right, bye. That's my best friend. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's Scouty behind me. Scouty's leg.
Scotty, say hi. Hi, Scout. Because I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Scooby, Scout, Piper, Fiona, Marley, and Bowie are not ours. Hmm? I said, what are your dog's names? And what did you just say? I said, Scout, Scooby, Piper, Fiona, Bodie, and Marley are not ours. I'm confused now. What the dog said. That's what I said. Oh. But I think they wanted to know all of them. Yes, please send us candy from all over the <laughs> all over the world. I, I'm so excited to try all the candy. Please do it. We will totally, totally try. Anything you give us that's edible and not disgusting. I am looking forward to starting to get some of those like food packages and stuff so that we can try them and yeah and compare like oh the chocolate from Sweden versus the ch chocolate from Australia I prefer the chocolate from Sweden you know or whatever I think that would be so cool Chocolate, sweets, whatever. I have a giant sweet tooth, so I'll probably yeah, eat she does. anything. You send that to candy. Should I rest in a single in and out fry? Oh my gosh. I we love, love in and out. out. I really like, like in and out. Like if like you could I wish you could order in and out from here and then they I like, would pay like a hundred dollars right now. Yes. If someone could like give me some in and out. If somebody wants to like resin it and then like when it There's comes one in to Oklahoma. Us, we should we're going to drop on this weekend. Ugh. We should just drive down and get some. No, we can't drive all the way to Oklahoma. Why? Because it's an extra couple of hours. Could it be worth it? I want in and out. That sounds delicious. I haven't had it since California. If anybody figures a way to like get in and out sent to us, we will um, give you free merch. I will buy some and give it to you. <laughs> oh, that's not a bad. Do I like honeycomb? Um, yeah, I like honey. I like, like honey. I don't think I've ever had honey comb, but I like honey. Do a food challenge. Yeah, I want to do a food challenge. I I could. We did a food challenge for one of our videos. Like, Maddie went and picked out five items. Out it was of, awful. I, she would not try any of the items, guys. I had to try every single one of them because she made me go first. And then, yeah. Emily said so there's an in and out around the corner from where I live in LA. I Lucky. envy you right now. <laughs> this, uh, this sounds so good. Can we have Freddy's for dinner? Yeah. Because now I'm craving in and out burgers and the closest thing I can think of is Freddy's. I was in Chick-fil-A. We have a Chick-fil-A close and I love Chick-fil-A too. As much as they don't stand for. They stop selling to hate groups or stop donating. Yeah, I to hate agree, groups. but I feel like still part of them is oh, yeah. not supportive. But whatever. Um, can make you little clay out of keychains. Yeah, I love. Okay, some of Maddie and I's favorite things. I collect magnets from all over the world. So if you have a really cool magnet, send it to me, please. I would love a cool magnet to put on our fridge and I will write your name on the back of the magnet or you can write your name on the back of the magnet or whatever. So that way I know who it came from and stick it on my fridge. I have, I'm trying to get magnets from all over the world because I think it's so cool. And so I have this trend of anybody I know that's traveling somewhere or, um, if I'm traveling somewhere before I leave, I get a magnet. So I have actually a decent uh, amount from 
I have one from the Bahamas, I have one from Paris, I have two from Italy, I have one from Dubai, one from somewhere in China, Hong Kong, just from people that I know that have, um, but yeah, so if you have any sort of magnet that resembles where you live or whatever, send it. That's, I, that's one of my favorite things. Um, in and out fry magnet. Would it stay like unmoldy? If it if it's unmoldy, like I don't want a moldy fry. Honey, what? Sometimes I don't think she processes <laughs> like a normal human. Like I I really do. Like sometimes I'm like, did you really just say yeah. that? I'm pretty sure they meant a magnet made out like as a fry. Okay. Did That's you fine. really think someone's gonna put a fry on a magnet? <laughs> No. They call me the dumb See, blonde. a resin one. Like, I would put it in resin. It is a real fry. She literally thought you were going to glue a fry to a magnet. <laughs> Don't try to cover it up, Grace. That's literally what she thought. Okay. Or keychains. We like keychains for our car keys, lanyards, whatever. Actually, I like your bracelets. Keep them sending. I'm bracelets. We really like bracelets, uh, although I'm not going to be able to wear 100 million bracelets on my arms, so I'll have to rotate them out. I will. Middle school, I'll, I'll, I'll rotate them out, but bracelets, anklets, things like that. Um, let's see. What's another one? Stickers. Maddie got a thing with llama stickers from a teacher, and she has them all over in rainbow stickers. Pride stuff. We love pride stuff. Of course, because we're lesbian. Um, I don't know. All right, 10 more minutes because I'm getting like cranky because I'm hungry. Gina, where are you getting this food from? Naco Pizza, now Marshmallow Fluff. Sophie, yeah. Well, we understand. So, yes, I will wear bracelets. I actually have two bracelets, one from Ash and one from Sophie that are in the um, other room in the bathroom. I have to take them off for work right now. I can wear them to work once this whole thing is over. But <gasps> due to COVID, I'm not allowed to have like any watches or bracelets or anything. I have to take my rings off when I go to work and put them back on because they were in my car. But um, yeah, so just for safety, I can't have any of that stuff on when I wear gloves and stuff so that I don't get COVID. Sometimes I think they make us do excessive stuff, but whatever. Yeah, make me a magnet. That's cool. I'll put it on the fridge. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome. Somebody's going to make us sweets when we move out to California. Yes. I'm good with that. <laughs> Yes, there's to too many Sophies. One of the Sophies made us bracelets. They're like these braided yarn bracelets, and they're really cool. Very durable bracelets, and they're in our favorite colors. So whichever Sophie that made the bracelets and sent them, thank you. We love them. She may not be in this live. I don't know. So she was the other day and was super excited that we were wearing her bracelets. I'm about to make more bracelets. So what colors do each of you want? It was me. Thank you, Sophie. Sure. Surprise me. I love it. Yeah, them. surprise us. We love the ones that you made. They're our favorite colors. Else. Super double drained. Yeah. Just surprise us. Make us whatever. <laughs> My hair's going <laughs> That's way. disgusting. My hair's go all the way around, too. More durable than my cheap rubber band. Hey, we like your yes. rubber band bracelets. I like Maddie's them. wearing hers right now. Mine are both in the bathroom. I, I can't wear it to right work because some kid would purposely say fuck you and snap it. Yeah. So I can't wear it to work. But I love it. Mm -hmm. I wore mine both all day yesterday. The British one. Okay. We can call you the British one. <gasps> the British, <gasps> Sophie. The Brit? Yes. Um, but yeah, bracelets are cool. 
Although if I get like a hundred bracelets, I'm gonna have to like rotate them. Because if I have a hundred bracelets on my arm, people I are gonna be like, walk what? Five hundred miles and I will walk five hundred more. Uh, okay, I love you guys, but I gotta get some food in my belly. Then go eat, yeah. And then I might go live tonight on TikTok and pray to God no one reports me. What's our can, favorite type of cake? I can go back to live at 10 p.m. I like white so, cake or chocolate cake. Like fun Betty cake. Ooh, I don't know cake in general, just cake. Okay, um, I love you guys. She loves. Hold on, you. wait. Somebody's asking. I'm hungry. I'm so excited to see specific pastel or bright colors. Pastels. I, pastels. No, I want bright. I like. Or bright. I don't. I mean, to be honest, anything is fine. We really like the ones you sent. So, but we want something no different. If you're if you're gonna make Whoa. bracelets, make them different. Pots. Don't make them the same. <laughs> Your pupils are like <laughs> hashtag pot. Yeah. Um. Oh shh. Did we you gotta see go my to Walmart watercolor painting? I sent oh, you close tonight. The brain one and the stigma. We gotta go. I don't. We gotta go because I'm gonna hit ninety thousand tonight, and I forgot a confetti launcher, and they just restocked. That was a great burp. Sorry. Okay, we love you. Can y'all give me to 80 because we're almost, or at 90 because I'm almost at 90. I'm at. Give me the 80K. I'm at 88. Share with all your friends and give me the 80K. Make me beat Maddie. <laughs> give me to 90 because I'm going to go get confetti. Give me okay, 225. Love you. Love you. Bye.